What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. A pretty big announcement video for Luna Classic. We're going to be covering off version 1.0.5. What does it mean? Why are we upgrading to that? And also that million dollar investment to a project on Luna Classic. We're going to take a look at exactly what it is and what they are building. And if all that wasn't enough, the market feels like it is absolutely ready to send it ahead of that CPI edit, CPI edit. So if you're ready to send it, be sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video and drop a comment and I'll try and reply to as many as I possibly can but let's get into it the market is absolutely flying right now let's refresh the page 1.26 percent up on the 24 hours nearly 870 billion and we've just seen a pretty big move up in a number of coins you can see there a little bitcoin 79 could break 18 i think we could have end up if we break 18 we get positive cpi we could end up on our way up to 20k quite easily but eth at 13.83 and just out of interest eth with a massive spike on the last hour some huge money going into ethereum right now and as we can to go down the rest of the market you can see bnb nearly three percent six point two percent on xrp absolutely crazy matic up another four and a half percent you love to see it as well as a number of other coins even solana chucking in a two percent avalanche that partnership with amazon going nuts at 24 percent and as we kind of come down the list you can see there everything tipping in maybe four five percent <clears throat> absolutely crazy chronos up another two percent as we kind of come down the list, you'll see we get to the number 40 highest ranked cryptocurrency out there, which is Terra Luna Classic right now. We do see a relatively flat volume, albeit it's still 102 million. But yeah, 1652 is the price as we age ever nearer to a billion dollar market cap. We'll come back and look at the more technical side of things in just a second. But I wanted to get into this proposal specifically by Edward King. Now, remember, Edward is part of that layer one development team that we have funded Q1 150K to build out some of their project excuse me products and equally like i said building out much more in terms of the chain so it's a non-state breaking software upgrade proposal to the terra classic blockchain to transition from version 1.0.4 to 1.0.5 non-state breaking means that there are no changes to the state created by the validators rather these are changes made to the client that interface to the chain validators and full nodes are requested to upgrade at their earliest convenience so what does it mean? It means ultimately it's not going to affect the validators as such, although they are recommended to upgrade it. As we saw with some of the others, it does require a full validator upgrade. Ultimately, we're currently running 1.0.4, and we can see there that the fix for the Fetios grow, it says this is a simple fix to the node's LCD endpoint that corrects a calculation issue on the LCD. Now, if you remember, Edward talked about this in terms of that burn rate tax and ultimately getting the right amount. You can see here, look, the rather the problem with the LCD tries to estimate the gas required a tweak in early september adjusted for the issue in terra station wallet this will fix on the lcd side so ultimately gets us more accurate it's a small uh, you know benefit of life kind of upgrade but at the same time very well needed as well we have a second change which is the upgrade the version map hotfix this is the most important change we are making in the version upgrade this is a simple fix made to the upgrade keeper that stores the current version map of the modules in the application's memory the problem we were running into before is that the software upgrade governance proposals and upgrade handlers were not run because they do not have any knowledge about the current versions of the modules on chain the code initiates the version map so that futures upgrades can utilize the proper upgrade procedure i.e makes it smoother we can implement quicker and more effectively in terms of upgrading to 1.0.5, the summary of it is the upgrade is non-state, like we said, breaking, but required. It is crucial. The first upgrade needed to proceed with further state breaking upgrades. If nodes do not upgrade, the next upgrade iteration will result in an incorrect version map and cause frozen nodes that will halt and not contain, excuse me, not continue by normal means. So it's important here. You need to see who you are validating with and go and check and ensure that they have then increased and also they are running version 1.0.5. 0.5 because the risk here is that the validator becomes frozen which ultimately will mean you will not be gaining your rewards for validating with them so it's important to note about a non-conical repo remember i covered that in the video this is about how we implement code without having to go back through terra rebels and ultimately do it through a consensus of the community it says the discussion around the non-conical repository is ongoing and all feedback is being considered until this is resolved we are requesting that the validators accept the release from the joint layer one task force repository and it gives you the link there on github ultimately 
Again, this about using the consensus of the community has to be at the forefront of our minds. And it does mean that we can just move quicker and get things on there. In terms of what we've seen for testing, no errors on the Columbus 5. Successful upgrade tested on testnet. Testnet and mainnet correctly computes the tax via the LCD. All existing nodes, dApps, wallets, and compute the tax and add to the fee parameter will not be affected. So ultimately, it is all being tested. It's all ready to rock and roll. And it's about making sure we are fit for the future. It says there, look, the community member has passed Proposal 11243, unrelated to this release for validator nodes, we will provide further instructions on how to update their gas fees based upon the governance recommendation to increase gas fees by 5x. Now, there is some coding problems. Again, this supports more of that to ensure that it's correct. So we go up to that and we I think everyone's aligned to this 5x increase on gas fees because it's going to fund the community pool, which again funds projects and funds further development of the Terra Luna Classic ecosystem. Now, if we take a quick look at the price over here before we get into the final bit of news, we can see as well as the rest of the market, we are seeing a nice green candle albeit we are just marginally down by one percent now again it is detached from the rest of the market we generally see lunk pull back when the market moves and then when the market pulls back we generally see lunk moves it's a bit of a lagging delay in terms of what happens so although the market is starting to move now i would expect lunk to do very, something very similar in the next sort of six to twelve hours likewise it always seems to be in the reverse but at the same time a positive sentiment as we top down here 59 and we still are maintaining around that 16 16 and a half would like to see us push on up to the 18s I think that would be a really good place to go into the coming weekend. Certainly, as we get the CPI data tomorrow, it could certainly push us a bit higher. Now, in other news, I talked about this a while ago, this million dollar investment into a project. Well, ultimately, Terra C Vita have come out and said that they have created a DEX. The DEX is powered by a deflation token called Terra with rewards based on DEX traffic to reward all the delegators who have staked with Terra C Vita. The validator, we are inviting you to do the discounted private sale gives you the information there ultimately how you do it and what you go on and how you've got to do that but ultimately Terra CV to bring in a DEX yes it's a start for further development and again if you are staking with those you get the option to buy in a bit cheaper time will tell this is kind of the first real you know project that's going to build on as part of the validator network ultimately bringing something different to the ecosystem is it going to do much for the price no but what again we are doing is building for the long term ensuring that we are stable ensuring that there are possibilities to build out and i think for me it's an important thing and again are we going to see more projects come on board are we going to see more applications come on board ultimately that tied in with those burns I think is absolutely where we want to be hopefully we see lunk move significantly the market is desperate to try and move CPI coming soon let me know in the comments below what you think of that but two big updates for Terra Luna Classic make sure you understand and are following all the things going on with Luna Classic by subscribing to the channel turn that notification bell on and leave a like if you got some use out of this content as ever thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next one take care